The average human height has morphed as though it were a species of Pokemon, and the reasons are as layered as an onion. In ancient times, we are talking about Neolithic humans. The averages were pretty low. Men towered over women at a not-so-staggering 5 feet 3 inches, with women coming in at an even less sky-poking height. It was a different era. Life was pretty tough. We didn't have orthopedic shoes. And nutrition was, well, let's just say it was sustainably paleo. As time marched on and we turned the big wheel of history, height variations became quite the tapestry. Take the Romans, a well-documented bunch, where men averaged around 5 feet 5 inches. Lo and behold, when the empire fell and the Dark Ages snuck in, human height took a nosedive due to turmoil and poor nutrition. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and we're starting to look up, literally. Nutrition is getting better, and humans are poking their heads a little further into the atmosphere. But it's still a seesaw, with fluctuations due to pandemics and famines. Then the plot thickens with the Industrial Revolution. Agriculture skyrockets, food becomes more abundant, and suddenly humans are sprouting up like beanstalks. In the 18th century, Europeans, particularly the Dutch, took the lead, stretching their legs out and bumping up the average. Flash to modern times, food, medicine, and overall quality of life have pushed the human mast higher than ever. The global average for men is perched at about 5 feet 7 inches, but much like a hipster's beard in Portland, where I'm from, it's still growing. The Dutch remain the tallest, with averages that make the rest of us look like we should be hanging out at the Shire. But it's not just the West. Many countries have seen their residents reaching for the higher shelves. Nutrition and health standards are the real MVPs here, folks. Now, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Some argue that we might be topping out on this growth spurt. Obesity, sedentariness, and poor diets might reverse this growth trend. But that's a discussion for another day. So from ancient grunts to modern slouches, human height has been a barometer for how we're doing as a collective species. The better we eat, the higher we reach. Unless, of course, genetics decides to throw us a curveball.